Hi guys, welcome to your July 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading Bonus for the Beautiful Sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members. Everything that you need for this reading is below in the description box. If you are here catching this video before the main video, please understand that this is a bonus and is meant to be watched as an or in addition to the main video. I appreciate that. This is going to highlight more of the maybe thoughts, feelings, actions, and fears. Um, not so much as the uh, bonus, the extensions that I do that I charge for. That's for purchase, but. We do go a little bit more into depth as to how the person is feeling with two totally different decks using the exact same clarifiers that clarified the person's romantic intentions in the main video. Therefore, we're on the same subject and we can give you just a little bit more um, clarification. Okay. Pisces, there's definitely something going on between you and the person that you're connected to. Um, it has a lot to do with regrets and I know that this is a weird song to channel. Um, and it probably has nothing to do with this, but all that I keep hearing in my head is learn to live with regrets. So I'm channeling like Jay-Z, not to mention I'm a Jay-Z super fan, but one has nothing to do with the other. As soon as I see what is going on in the heart place, which is the, the, the card of regret, which I'm going to show you. That's all that kept that I kept thinking about. That song is not maybe not so much as what he's saying, but he is giving, um, you know, examples as to how you have to learn to live with regrets. And sometimes you need to learn to move with uh, to live with them as a um, as as a what is the word you need to learn to live with them. But there's also a part that needs to be put to rest. It sounds like I'm saying just be disappointed. That's not what I'm saying. But in order for you to move forward in this relationship, because I see that there is a deep desire for you guys to be together, you and the person that you're yearning for or the person that is yearning for you, then these regrets and negativities from the past are going to have to be put to rest. Okay. So that's my insight on it. Let's get into the cards. The first card is weather out the storm. Okay. The second is the card of insecurities. Let go of negative experiences of the past. Okay. If I can put that back in the heart place, as mentioned is the card of regrets. Gate is open. Take the leap of faith and walk through. We also have the card of overcoming the odds. Beautiful energy, though. We also have on a pedestal, but does this hurt the relationship? And we have the card of fix it. Sit down and communicate. There's definitely been a repression of feelings here between you and this person. I don't know whether that repression is because of a lack of communication, whether the, it's the silent treatment or a person is just not comfortable with communication. Um, again, I don't want to make this too clinical, but sometimes I guess it is what it is. Sometimes if there is a lack of communication, you have to really differentiate between the two reasons or the reasons why a person is choosing not to sit down and communicate. That's something that that's being highlighted in your energy. And that's something that needs to be done. Um, the first card that is clarifying whether the storm is you are my two of cups. You are my soulmate. This person knows that they're supposed to be with you, feels that they're supposed to be with you. And there have been some storms, a, a, a storm, a flood of emotions and miscommunication period it feels to me that especially this combination of cards it definitely has a lot to do with things that were left unsaid and actions that were left undone insecurities are a main part of this 
Um, there are things in the past that are negative that has directly impacted this communication or this relationship between you and your person. It is a need to let that go in order to move forward. But there is an energy of one or both of you being stuck in the fact that things happen and maybe it will happen again. And that's nowhere to live. That's being clarified by I hate this distance between us. It does not feel good. This uh, deck is about um, no communication at all. Maybe the incident that ca caused you guys to separate. You guys are no longer together and there have been no communication at all. That is this deck. In the regrets, I can't stop thinking about you. You are always in my dreams. Um, this person is very regretful of the way that things go or the way that things have went. There is this distance between you guys. They don't like it. They still very much feel like you are their two of cups. You are their soulmate. And they very, they, they, they very much so still feel connected to you, Pisces. The gate is open. Take a leap of faith and walk through again. I tell you guys, anytime I see faith, especially in Tarot, that fool card that is associated with um, taking a leap of faith and walking through and going through with the glass half empty of half full, basically taking a step out on faith, not knowing what will happen, the fear of the unknown. Whenever that is, that's in your energy, it's a twofold. A, things have already happened that has scared you away from even wanting to move forward. And B, because those things, those negative experiences of the past have taken place, it scares you of what the future is going to hold. But this person loves you and is saying that the gate is open if you guys can just sit down and come up with a firm plan and get past the things of the past. Um, I'm really sorry about everything. So they are admitting what they're sorry about. I don't see what it is per se outside of what the cards show. Um, insecurities, obviously communication is coming up and odds, just odds. Now, I'm not going to take that and automatically make it worse than what it is, but this, I already know what happens in the main video. So there were some things that took place that possibly info it involved other people. Go watch that video and you will understand. Odds were here. That's being clarified by we belong together. So no matter what odds became presented in your way or things that came and presented them themselves as obstacles, this person very much so feels connected to you. Like I said, they feel like you are their soulmate. They don't, they can't stop thinking about you and they really wish that you guys can come out of this place of stagnation. The on a pedestal, does this hurt the relationship is being clarified by I see my future when I look into your eyes. Um, a pedestal can hurt the relationship um, because you automatically create this impossible. There's always something in my eye on this one eye. Oh my God. You create these impossible odds between you and the person that you love by placing these boundaries and these heights on what one person does automatically, you know, saying that you can't do it or you can't achieve those goals. And that alone can be detrimental to the relationship because now it's a separation. You're up there and I'm down here. I can't do that. And really what it is, is not necessarily that I can't do that. It's mainly I won't or I'm not going to do it for fear of being hurt. And that's a lot of the times what it is. We can do whatever we put our minds to. But when you automatically have a lack mentality and you come into a situation saying what you're not going to do, I believe that creates these impossible odds. And therefore, you know, those situations where you communicate better than me, you give better gifts than me, you do this better than me. That's creating a competition to create a comfortable zone for you where you don't have to step outside of that comfort zone and also making an excuse for what you won't do. So if you automatically have that mentality, you're never going to meet the person. Um, you're never going to meet the person in the middle and it's, it, you, you're creating these impossible odds that no one's ever going to meet. And if you have this me against you mentality, then maybe you shouldn't be in a relationship. You should really just kind of be by yourself. But 
I don't know whether that is what took place. That's what it feels like. And so this person is still saying, if I did that, meaning this person, hey, if I did that, I'm sorry. I don't want to create these possible odds. When we did this, when we engaged and putting each other on the pedestal or you putting me or me putting you, it created this dissension between us and I want to come out of it. OK, and fix it is being clarified by I've been thinking about how I can fix things between us. Look how that came out. And I was pre shuffling and they came out perfectly. So I left them like that. Like this person wants to know if it's fixable. They want to know what can I do to fix this? Like it seems as if things just kind of get got we got away from what was most important here. OK, top of the deck is you make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. You guys haven't spoken. I suck at goodbyes, but this is only a goodbye for now and everything will be all right. Please trust me. So this person is struggling um, to deal like really struggling. Did I get the struggle card? Um, no, I'm really struggling. No, but you are my two of cups. You are my soulmate. And I've been thinking about how I can fix things between us are sticking out to me. So I'm going to keep them really close and we're going to go ahead and move on to the second deck. Um, if you're interested in the week two, which will start to be posted tonight um, and the order Pisces and where you stacked up for the week two, that order is has been published on the community tab as well as Patreon. OK. All right. So we're going to go into the first card. This deck is for if there is communication, maybe you guys aren't communicating the way that you should. Maybe you guys are staying in each other's lives because you don't want to lose the other person, but there is no communication being done. It's this passive aggressive type of thing. I did get let's stop the passive aggressive behavior in the pre-shuffle, but let's see um, if that's going to come out. Here we go with things falling. These cards are great and they are so slippery. All right. Weather out the storm is being clarified by I am sorry. Please forgive me. I did not handle it well. So there are there were some storms and some of these storms include things that should not have been done to one another. And as a result, this person is feeling like they shouldn't have done this and they're sorry that they did it. Um, we already know that they want to fix things between you. And this is going to drive me nuts. Um, they want to fix things between you guys. Um, it is tearing them apart. The insecurities um, being stuck in um, the negativity of the past. And that's being clarified by when with this heartache in because it's tearing me apart. I felt that I was looking for struggling or tearing me apart. Oh, my God. Regrets. Ugh. Regrets. And they're hard to pick up. Oh, my goodness. OK, so regret being clarified by we had to go our separate ways. Please focus on yourself. Time to grow and find your inner strength. So that is something that is very it's it, it, it's regretted. And a person, both of you guys are definitely a person that loves you is has a lot of regrets but really regrets the fact that you guys had to go your separate ways. Also, soon you will see we are one. I am I am from you and you are from me. So they're planning their comeback, but kind of reveling. I don't want to say reveling, but kind of they understand the fact that this needed to happen. Gate is open is being clarified by I, when I'm what. When I'm with you, I am home again. I will always love you. So they're saying that the gate is open and they want you to take a leap of faith. You are their home. Um, let's talk about these odds. So when they speak to you, they're not telling you these things. They're just kind of being cordial, um, probably to um, to try and not to argue because you guys obviously disagree. Higher vibrations raise your energy and spirit. Darling, please heal. Someone here is definitely acknowledging that. I mean, in the way that this person is talking to you, Pisces, it's almost as if they're telling you, you needed to take, you need to take the time to get yourself together, raise your standards. Now you may disagree with this, but there is a strength 
There's already insecurities, inner strength, and raise your vibration vibes here. Um, someone is definitely um, coming and saying this. Um, when I get these cards where they take ownership and say, I, 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 that's one thing. But what is this on my shirt? But when I just noticed that when I get um, the invitation from spirit or the cards that are speaking to you guys and saying what you need to do. I kind of feel like then both of you guys need to do this, but because I see both of these cards and I see regret and I see overcome the odds, this person is stating that they didn't do things right, but there is something within you that was the beginning of the end. Maybe they're saying that insecurities begin with you and they would like to overcome that. They're coming towards you and saying, this is what I want to do. Um, okay. All right. So they're saying that you are the one that may need to um, raise your inner, your energy and spirit, and you need to heal from things that maybe that they did on a pedestal. Does this hurt the relationship? It's being clarified by, I will see you in our dreams where our love is pure. So there's been a lot of dream type energy between you two so i know that you guys are com co you guys are possibly still connected of uh, through telepathy where when they pop in your head you're thinking about they're thinking about you therefore you begin to think about them and vice versa and fix it is being clarified by balance check self reflection is needed so we have some very specific things here that spirit is saying to both of you guys. I do get the feeling Pisces that one of you guys are more willing to do this than the other. Um, there's a lot of self-reflection, a lot of healing that needs to be done on the inside. And it seems like from this particular reading with the person, with, with the person that uh, between you and the inner, the energy God between you and the person that you are connected with. Only one of you guys are willing to do that work because it's painful. Do that shadow work and really do what needs to be done to bring these issues to the forefront so you guys can move on from the past. But you can't move on by sweeping it under the rug. You have to acknowledge what went wrong, fix it, and then you can move forward. Um, so, you know, you let me know, but it's really coming through very 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 strong that yeah i've been thinking about how i can fix things between us we belong together i love you you are my soulmate that is coming through very very strongly um let's heal let self-reflection let i mean heal is twice uh, inner strength all of these things that are here um, between you guys, two steps forward, one step back. We still move in our twin flame dance. Heart to heart communication is coming. Fear is replaced with love and the throat chakra will be cleared. And finally, our love overwhelms and frightens me. I don't feel worthy. There's that not feeling worthy healing energy. So between both of you guys, um, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. But this person is willing to what step up to the plate and 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 fix things between you and i feel like one of you guys is more willing to step up and do that uncomfortable work than the other like share subscribe to the marvelous tribe thank you so much for voting pisces i'm very proud of you guys because you did move up in the upload schedule so you should get your new video before the end of the week um the before the end of the close of the week so thank you so much i appreciate it and i will see you guys in a couple days when we do it again Bye, Pisces.